Hi there. Let's take a look at the Tortola model by Taylor Morrison at River Landing in Wesley Chapel, Florida. Come on inside. I'm Michelle Curtin, by the way, with Cartwright Realty, Shell Sells Florida Homes. And I will be happy to tour with you through this beautiful home. It is 3461 square feet. It's five bedrooms, four and a half baths, three car garage. And the starting price is about 552,000, at least on the day that I'm filming this today. This is a wild and crazy market that we're in and everything is subject to change, but that's what it is currently. Let's take a look. So as you can see, let me zoom this a little bit. Um, we've got two of the garage stalls on the left-hand side of the front door. And then there's a single car garage over here. And then as we walk up, we've got this beautiful double door. And look at this. Oh my goodness. So pretty. You've got the luxury vinyl plank flooring. At least, you know, of course, this is the model, so your home might differ but let's just kind of look around and see the layout. So we're coming in the front door and we've got the wood stairs with beautiful wrought iron spindles, which I love. And then this one is finished out with shiplap, which your house would not come with, but you could always do that after sale. And then we've got a large storage area here under the stairs. And then off to the left, we've got a little drop zone here for your keys and your mail and so on. And the laundry room. Beautiful cabinetry above the washer dryer and a finished out utility sink. Very lovely. And then, the store here is probably, oh, this is the commode, okay. So here's a half bath. I thought it was gonna be an air handler for the air conditioning. Pedestal sink. Very, very pretty. And then off to the left, we've got a bath, a bedroom with its own bathroom. So they have it set up as an office right now, but it does have a closet and its own bathroom. This has a walk-in shower. Very beautiful. And I like the square sinks too. And you've got um, quartz countertops in that bathroom. I like it that Taylor Morrison does the nice countertops throughout the home instead of like doing Formica in the secondary baths. They, it looks like they're doing the same countertops throughout. So now we're in the kitchen. And look how pretty the glass front cabinets above butler's pantry, very large butler's pantry. And this is when they included a wine refrigerator. All right, let's look at the rest of the kitchen first and I'm gonna spin around and look at the living room. So here's a door to the garage and then <clears throat> cabinets everywhere and they're the 42 inch cabinets. You've got your double oven here. And then, pretty spacious pantry. And I like the solid wood shelves rather than wire shelves. And this backsplash is really pretty too. And you've got your gas cooktop 
River Landing is a community that allows gas for cooking, which is great. There are a lot of new home communities in Wesley Chapel that do not offer gas, it's only electric. So if you are one of these gourmet chefs that insist on cooking with gas, then it kind of helps you narrow down where you want to live. And here they are showing the beautiful ceramic farmhouse sink. Dishwasher. Oh, I love this refrigerator. Look at this. It's pretty. So this is like a white matte finish and then rose gold handles. That is really pretty. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. And then here's your eat-in kitchen. I'm sorry, your, well, it's an eat-in kitchen, but it's a little breakfast nook here. And that would be big enough for, I mean, like they show a full-size dining table. And then I love these sliders where it comes to, they come together so it opens from this side and from this side. And so if you opened the whole thing up, th these triples would slide into the wall. This double, I believe, would just, you know, you'd have a one, one panel opening. But this entire space would be opened up to the outside. And then they put a pool in here. And as you can see, the pool is screened, but this is what they call panoramic screen. So you don't have all those bars in the middle of it, so it doesn't obstruct your view at all. So that's a really nice option as well. And then here's the living room. Or the family room. And then off of that, we've got <clears throat> our primary bedroom. So imagine waking up in the morning and this is the first thing you see. Would that not be awesome? This room is definitely big enough for a king size bed and then look at these oversized nightstands and you still have space on either side of them. And then, oh my goodness, <laughs> here is a second house, it looks like, your guest quarters. This is the primary bath. This is enormous. So you've got your dual sinks and a little sitting area here, a little makeup uh, station. And your commode. And a huge shower. Get a better look at that. So very, very spacious. And you've got your bench here. And this has two shower heads. So one that's a handheld and then the stand up one there. I love it. I think I'll buy it. Oh my God. <laughs> and then for those of you who like a large closet, here you go. I don't think they come much bigger than this. This house is gorgeous. I can't believe this starts at only 552. So. finished out like this it's gonna be more than that but just for the space alone it's amazing so now we're gonna go to the stairs and see what we've got upstairs Here we have the other four bedrooms, and they are large as well. Check this out. Actually, the other three bedrooms are up here because we, we saw two of them downstairs. So 
Here's a walk-in closet. And this bedroom has its own bath. And they finished it out with a walk-in shower. And of course, depending on your needs, you could make that a shower tub combo. That's very pretty. Here is bedroom number four. Again, pretty spacious closet. And this looks like a full-size bed with a lot of space on either side of it. So this would definitely accommodate a king size as well. And then here's a shared bathroom. So you've got dual sinks. And then here you see a shower tub combo. And they did this Listella tile in the shower area to add a little interest. I love that, so pretty. And then bedroom number five. These curtains are cool. And a spacious closet. So it looks like all of these bedrooms are pretty much the same size up here. And then down the hall. You've got your air handler here for the upstairs air conditioning. You would have two separate units, one that cools the upstairs and one that cools the downstairs. So you don't have just one big unit that's trying to cool the hot air that rises. So it's a lot more efficient, energy efficient. But here's your big bonus room. And they have it finished out with a bar. And lots of extra cabinets. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've said it before and I will say it again. Storage, storage, storage is what you want to look at when you're moving to Florida because we don't have basements and it's really too hot to store anything in the attic. So you always want to look for cabinets, closets, anything, any place that you can find storage. Uh, that is what you want to look for. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me. I'm Michelle Curtin at Cartwright Realty, shellsellsfloridahomes.com, 813-693-2224. And check out the resources below. I've got a guide to new construction. I've got a guide to moving from out of state, like a relocation guide. So be sure to download those free resources. and. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. For now, it's Michelle Curtin signing off.